Hello, everyone. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. Joining me in the studio is Dean Norris. He is an advisory director, or advisory trustee, I should say, with the ALS Association Golden West Chapter. And she's been with us before, but she's coming back to join us again uh, to talk more about. Last time you were here, we talked about ALS, what it is, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, but we want to talk a little bit more about the center that you and I guess you and your husband started. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, we are located at uh, California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco, and uh, I married Forbes Norris, who was a neurologist who has special interest in neuromuscular diseases. And we realized that there wasn't a lot offered for patients who had the disease now. And so we were, he was very much of a pioneer and in, in instrumental in being innovating techniques for management of this disease so that patients could live longer, higher quality of life, and have at least have dignity. The life expectancy for someone with ALS is very short. It's very short. It's generally two to three to maybe five years. But what we've discovered is that this rather innovative thought idea about a multidisciplinary clinic extends life. This is now documented in the literature, and we're very proud of that. So we uh, have a wonderful multidisciplinary team of occupational therapist, respiratory therapist, which is vital in this disease, a nutritionist, a nurse, people who are experienced in all aspects of the management and the interventions as necessary. Because it's a progressive disease with increasing paralysis, you need different interventions to help people deal with all the problems attendant to this disease. So we started this, and it, we now have one of the largest multidisciplinary centers in the country for management of ALS. Now, we don't know the cause. There is no cure, but there are some drugs now that are being used that are showing some hope. Well, yes. We, and actually, that's another where we're one of the leaders of uh, clinical research trials. And we're very excited now because for a long time, this was the absolute definition of the endless, uh, hopeless disease. But now we've got uh, various drug companies that are trying, based upon good science, uh, various clinical interventions that uh, we hope will show promise. Because keep in mind, we don't have a cure, but if we can stop the disease in its tracks, that's what we're aiming for, a drug that will slow progression or stop progression. And we've got a number of trials in process right now. We have a very large clinical research team for that purpose. You're being honored for some of the work that you have done with the ALS Association with uh, uh, and a fundraiser that's coming up on May 12th. I'm going to be there. This uh, organization, Comcast, is being honored. We're Tell honored. people a little bit about that and, and how they can come and attend. Well, uh, we the information is through the ALS Association uh, Golden West Chapter. You can find that online. Uh, it is May the 12th. It's at the Hiller Aviation Museum. Uh, we're going to have a strong sports theme uh, because the various Bay Area uh, uh, baseball teams have been very helpful for our ALS calls for many years. And so we're going to have a number of uh, various uh, baseball players there, we hope. And that's in process. And we think it's going to be a very exciting lovely event. Kind and of a 1930s theme that Yes, night. yes. She's got a band lined up the, for old 30s music and so there will be dancing and that sort of thing and uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful venue. I've not seen it but I'm looking forward to it. It should oh, be I'm very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing you there and, and I'll see delighted. you on May 12th. And I'm delighted that you're coming. Thank you. <laughs> thank you Dee for stopping by. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers and I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye bye.